Is that you? Yeah, Mom, I'm home. Your study partner called. He can't make it this afternoon. Oh, no! And my science test is tomorrow! I'll help you get a good grade on that test. Who are you? I'm Marco the Pencil. We can study for your test in Marco's Super Science Station. That sounds cool, but where is it? And how do we get there? Just close your eyes and repeat after me. There's no subject like science. There's no subject like science. There's no... Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Whoa! This is no ordinary science lab! You've got that right! <laughs> Come this way. Scientists have built special tools to look at atoms. But even with an electron microscope, atoms still look kind of fuzzy. So let's look at this model of an atom of helium. That's the gas that makes balloons float. Ah, it looks like the tiny atom is made up of even smaller particles. That's right. The nucleus, or center of the atom, is made up of protons, which have a positive charge, and neutrons that don't have any kind of electric charge. The number of protons always tells us the type of element. This atom is helium because it has two protons. Ooh, it's an electromagnet! When an electric current passes through these coils, it causes the nail to become a temporary magnet! And the more coils, the stronger the magnetic field! But what if you were on the International Space Station? Or out on a spacewalk? Gravity wouldn't be so strong then! I could float around almost weightless! Or what if you were on the moon? Well, I wouldn't be weightless, but I would weigh less than I do on Earth. And I could jump really high! That's because the moon has a smaller mass than the Earth. Your mass stays the same, but you'd weigh less because of the lower gravitational pull from the moon. Exacto mundo! 